The mobile application Headwind Remote uses accessibility services for the remote control of a mobile device by an authorized remote administrator. The usage of accessibility services is disclosed to the user. The most important details are written on the first screen. There is a button opening the full text of the application privacy policy. To start using Headwind Remote, the user must agree with the usage terms, otherwise the application will not start. At first start, there is a help screen explaining how to turn on the accessibility services, because the flow is not straightforward and includes several actions. Another sensitive permission used by Headwind Remote is the permission to draw on top of other applications. This permission enables the application to display a flashing dot during the remote control session, which generates the network traffic required by the screencast engine, as well as notifies the user that his device is remotely controlled. To start the remote control session, the user must tell the session ID and PIN code to the remote administrator. Session ID and PIN code are transient. They are randomly generated by the app for each session. However, it is important to keep these numbers safe during the session, and make sure they are provided to the authorized person only. To start the remote control, you must confirm your intention to begin screencasting. Remote administrator gets the contents of the mobile device in his browser, and he is able to perform various gestures, such as tap and swipe. Also, he can type the text and press the control buttons. Headwind Remote uses the UDP network protocol for the remote control. This makes the communication very fast even on slow mobile networks.